An energy company from Houston, Texas named Kenner Morgan is behind the project. Now, they want to build a pipeline from the New York border to Drake at Massachusetts. John Keller joins us now. John, the people have got to admit the consumer demand for more natural gas is there. Now, no question about it, Jack. Just in the past few years, it's become the fuel of choice for most Massachusetts homeowners and many of our electric power plants. But that's a trend many environmentalists want to stop. And they joined with scores of Northern Mass homeowners today in an effort to persuade Governor Deval Patrick to take up their cause. No pipeline. Is it the right decision for New England? Several hundred protesters rallied on Boston Common with diverse messages, but one common goal, killing the proposed natural gas pipeline while it's still on the drawing board. This has to do with global issues. This isn't just a local issue at all. Emily Norton of Townsend has gathered more than 600 signatures on a letter to Governor Deval Patrick demanding he step in to keep the pipeline out of their bucolic community. His legacy is really what he needs to think of. Does he really want to continue having the legacy of doing so many good things for the environment? Or is he going to step two steps back? Governor Patrick, we need support. We need help here. But this owner of a Franklin County paper mill says his business needs relief from soaring fuel and electricity costs. Central Massachusetts is economically depressed as it is. Right. And if you keep this away, people are going to have expensive energy and it's going to prohibit us from, uh, from growing and building out in that part of the state. From what I know of it, I'm a little skeptical of it. But if the crowd here is counting on the governor to block the pipeline, they may be in for a letdown. People do want to be able to have the lights come on when they flip, flip, uh, flip the switch, and I think having uh, some additional natural gas is helpful. Even though the final approval on this will likely fall to the feds, the state has plenty of ways to derail a project of this nature. But since the company involved has yet to even formally propose the plan, it may be the next governor who gets this hot potato dropped in his or her lap next year. And Jack and Lisa, to me, that says this is going to be a big issue in the governor's race, even if I have to make it one myself. Oh, John. <laughs> Consider that a, a threat. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll look forward to see what you find out. Okay. Thanks, John.